good. Ooh, a scratch on the lens. Shit. Got the splitter off. I took that off because I'm going to Dynamic tomorrow to do uh, full bolt-ons. Their driveway is super steep, so it's hard to get in there with that. And we gotta work on the car anyways. We're gonna have to pull off stuff from the bottom, so I figured might as well just take it off. It's actually in pretty good condition, though. For the amount of times that I hit it, it's not really even that bad. It's like one scrape right there, but for the most part, man, it's in good shape. Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Today we are just going for a little cruise in the car. We're gonna chat like a ride and chill. You know what I mean? We haven't done this in a minute. A lot of the videos are so focused on the topics. I don't really get to like just shoot the shit and talk. So that's kind of what we're gonna do. I used to do these a lot. I uh, haven't done them in quite a while, but we have a lot to talk about. A lot of people ask some questions. So I'm just gonna try and address as much as uh, I can in this video. We'll go for a little drive. Um, a lot of people were asking me where I got this mount for my GoPro. This was actually made by a friend of mine. Um, I'll link his Instagram down below, but I don't know if he makes them anymore, but um, I'm sure they make some other stuff kind of like this. Uh, I'm sure you can find more online. I basically have one for the headrest, and then I have one for the back of the car and for the front of the car. Super convenient when you're filming, obviously with like track and stuff, it'll make a lot of sense to use that. Um, some other people were talking about using the hat mount. I actually have the hat mount. It's on the GoPro right now. That's actually what I use when I'm like, when I put it in my mouth, I use the hat mount. I just, I just chew on it basically. The reason that I do that, the reason that I use the hat mount in my mouth is that I like to be able to film a lot of things on the fly. Like I'm very rarely, am I just putting this thing on my head and only using it for that? Um, a lot of times I'm like taking it out of my mouth and filming other cars or filming things in the interior or turning it around and filming me. Like there's a lot of different stuff that I utilize this GoPro for. So it's not really like a single function GoPro. Whereas if it was just a point of view kind of deal, then maybe it would work to only use the hat mount or to use like the actual um, full head mount thing that I have. Like I have like the full head mount. For my particular situation, it needs to be a little bit more versatile. That's why I use it in my mouth. And a lot of people were like, why don't you just get the hat mount? Well, I have the hat clip. Um, I just don't really use it that often. As you guys know, tomorrow is a uh, full bolt-on day at Dynamics. So we have the boost pipe, the turbo inlet pipe, and then my diverter valve going in, my turbo smart diverter valve, which I'm super stoked about. And then we'll officially be full bolt-on. Um, the diverter valve should be interesting. It's probably gonna sound absolutely insane. Uh, but look guys, map done. I finally got my Jordan Tune map. Now I'm gonna be flashing this Jordan Tune base map over the weekend. Obviously making a full video on this for you guys. I don't know when the video is gonna come out though because I'm filming all of the revisions and everything in one video. And I'm gonna put like the whole timeline in there and everything. So basically you can see our conversations here. Um, we go back and forth talking about like what's on the car. So he specifically made this base map for my car, which is really, really important. Um, also 98 Ron means 93 octane. I just learned that the other day, didn't even know it. And uh, if you look in here, so you'll see that he has a lot of uh, notes that he talks about. Um, things that you need to select and configure before running it. And then it talks about the data logs. So what you need to do, uh, wide watt pulls, which is wide open throttle, um, preferably the same data log from two and a half K to seven K RPM in third gear. So you do a bunch of those and then you do just like leisurely driving. And in the other video, you guys remember me talking about data logs. So that's what I meant by that. Let's go ahead and get that bucks, bruh. Get that buck. Oh. Bucks, dude. Milwaukee Bucks. And eh, getting the Bucks, bro. You know, I'm gonna get that cold brew because that's life. This is probably gonna be a longer video, you guys. So if you're not into that, just don't bother watching it. Uh, sometimes I like making longer videos. It's a little more raw and uncut. It's probably what this is gonna be. So I got a crazy story for you guys. Um, a friend of mine, I gotta say who, but a friend of mine has the exact same car with full bolt-ons. And he's got the same, exact same bolt-ons as me. Uh, same, not the same tune. He has MHD stage two. And he dynoed on the exact same dyno, dyno jet. And he dynoed 50 horsepower less than me. 50 horsepower less. Like in the world of dynoing and in the world of wheel horsepower, that is a ton. So he dynoed 350 left hand shift um 350 wheel horsepower when mine was 403 that's crazy we were like either your tune is messed up so he did like a stage two mhd tune 
you said either your tune is messed up or you have a boost leak or something because that seems incredibly, incredibly low. He dynoed 50 horsepower less than me. I thought that was absolutely insane. And we have the exact same exhaust, exact same everything, all the same bolt-ons. But he's on stage two MHD and I'm on stage two boot mode. I thought that was wild. Uh, a few things that we haven't talked about at all. Yes, I am one, wearing my mask when I go into public places uh, to get my Starbucks or Target or whatever, shopping, grocery stores mainly. Um, secondly, I actually am making masks with thick F30 all over them. If you guys look down below, there's gonna be like a Teespring thing. That's kind of currently where I'm doing all of my merch. Um, it's just the easiest way for creators like me to set up their merchandise. I used to do it through a third party site, but it, it just became too much of a hassle. If you guys want anything, just like simple designs or thick F30 or like I have some F30 shirts in there and then I have uh, some face masks that we're doing. I don't know if they're there yet, but they will be soon. Um, you can grab those down below. You'll see them right underneath the video. Also down below, you guys, you'll see my own, I have my own coffee. <laughs> I know, right? And I'm going to Starbucks. I actually have like my own coffee, not my own, but I teamed up with a brand called Motorized Coffee and they basically made a blend called Drive. My car is actually on the front of the bag. So I get a percentage of that for every bag that I sell. Um, there's gonna be a link down in the description if you guys wanna go support the channel, support me, go ahead and grab some coffee. It has my car on the front, looks kinda cool. People have been buying it up and they say that they absolutely love it. I have a bag at home, I've been drinking it, I think it's really good. But if you guys feel like supporting the channel um, and you guys are into good coffee, go ahead and grab a bag of coffee. Um, and let me know what you think about it. I love these roads. <laughs> Good morning. out of town. You guys, I finally ordered, <laughs> I ordered wheels, I ordered track wheels. Um, so these are the ones that I was actually gonna go with in the first place and I should have just gone with them because I didn't go with my gut. Guys always go with your gut. Um, so basically I, of course, you know, I tried to order them now and the rears are out of stock. They're back ordered until the end of August. So um, I did I did buy them, I purchased them. So I just bought them and I'm just waiting for them to get in. So it's probably gonna be a little bit of time before all of the wheels come in, but I did go ahead and pull the trigger on them. Super stoked about them, man. Uh, they're, yeah, they're just the right wheels for track. Uh, they're 18 by nine and a half in the front and 18 by 10 and a half in the back. So definitely track setup. I'm throwing some super meat tires on them. It's gonna be sick. Nobody's out here and you get stuck behind the slowest car ever. feels so good like everything that we have done with this car it is so dialed so dialed full bolt-ons carry jordan this thing is going to be perfect um for everyone who's been asking about track content yes of course i'm going to do track content they're actually repaving the entire track uh the one near me carolina motorsport park i believe is what it's called it's cmp is what we call it they're actually repaving the entire track. So the whole thing is getting redone and that'll open up at the end of August, early September, which is perfect because that's when my track wheels will get here. So it just makes sense. Um, I know it's taking a little bit of time, but trust me, I wanna go too. <laughs> I wanna track this car. That is the closest track that we have. It's actually a really, really good track. And especially for someone like me who's never tracked before, they do a great job on kind of explaining the whole process to you and showing you how it's done 
and there's a lot of like good introductory courses and then they obviously let you go on with an instructor and then you go on by yourself. It's just a good way to get started. I wanna bring you guys along for that entire process. So we will be doing track content, I promise. Biggest thing in the headlines right now, obviously the G80 M3. I think that that car is going to be an absolute monster. The fact that it has 480 horsepower in the rear wheel drive uh, manual version is absolutely insane. People are gonna be able to tune that thing to astronomical power numbers very, very easily. The, um, like sounds like the DCT version, the all wheel drive version is going to be in the 500s. Dude, that car is gonna be a monster. Regardless of what you guys think about the freaking kidney grills, which to be honest with you guys, everyone's gonna get over the kidney grill thing. There's always that like mass hysteria anytime something new is released. After seeing people actually modify the car and you start seeing them around a little more, people will start to love the way that the G80 looks. I'm telling you right now. I 100% would love to get one. When they actually allow people to start pre-ordering them, I, I'm definitely considering grabbing one. I think it would just be a sick car and super fun to have on the channel and a good way to elevate the uh, next step of everything that we're doing here. In other news, I am going to be getting a daily, um, this car is kind of turning into like a monster, so I am gonna be getting a daily driver. Um, considering an E36 M3 or an E46 M3, I did a poll on Instagram and Dude, everyone was talking about getting an E46 M3. Like everyone, like it was like 80% of people wanted me to get an E46 M3. So I'm, I might do it, you guys. I don't know. I'm, um, I might do it. I'm considering it. We'll see. the car it's just like an entirely different car like you turn off all the traction and the thing just goes absolutely batshit sideways <laughs> we were completely sideways right there i don't know how much you could actually see in the video but yeah it's crazy man like you can just do donuts and drift so easily in this thing when you uh turn off all the traction control this thing's like so nimble it just whips right out but it also, it's not like it whips out and it feels uncontrollable. Like it feels like you have control of the car. Like you're not like a Mustang and you're just gonna send it into a crowd of people. Like you feel like you can actually control it while it's sideways. It's pretty awesome. So tomorrow, dynamic auto-tune, uh, full bolt-ons. Then we're going to carry Jordan over the weekend. Uh, got a couple revisions. I don't know how fast that's gonna be, but I will be making that full video for you guys, like I said, and it's gonna be, dude, it's gonna be a good video. I'm telling you right now, it's gonna be super informative. I had a lot of questions about things and I'm learning a ton, man. I'm learning so much about tuning these cars and like what it takes and what you have to do and just to do it the right way with the N55B. Um, you guys comment down below and tell me what you think about the daily driver. So the idea for the daily driving car, uh, I, I don't think I would like modify it crazy because it is in fact going to be like a daily driver. I'm not trying to go like absolutely nuts on it. But I do want to have a really, I broke his neck. <laughs> I do want to have a, um, a not, like an, a very easy to drive, but like still obviously a BMW, like nice car, um, something that handles good and is fun to drive. It's going to be manual, obviously. Uh, no way in hell I would buy an E46 with the SMG Trans. You'd have to be out of your mind. But I'm, I'm kind of leaning towards the E46 M3. Um, I try to find a good one. There is a, there's one locally that I found that's like $22,000. And um, it's actually a Dynan model. It's like the S1 Dynan, it's super rare. And it's all blacked out, looks really, really good, manual. The only problem is it's a convertible. <sighs> kind of tight, like could be cool, a little bit different. You can buy hard tops for them. They look okay with the hard tops. I don't really see a lot of people doing convertible um, content on the E46 M3. It could be a little bit different. I'm considering it. I'm like, I'm considering it. I'm like 
60% on it. So um, that, and they're just hard to find when they're clean. This one's really clean. It's been well-maintained. I know the shop that works on it. It's actually my shop, Dynamic. And it's got everything that I would do to it, like really, really tasteful modifications, uh, good quality modifications. I've actually seen the car in person before, and it's a, it's a nice car. The main reason that I want to do that, you guys, and that I want to get a daily driver like that is because the reality of it is, is this M2 is slowly, but well, pretty quickly here, is turning into a freaking track car. I don't want to go to the track and have to worry about breaking the car or like just destroying the brakes and tires and all that and not having a car to take to Harris Teeter grocery store on Monday. You know what I mean? It's, it's wise to have two cars. So I'm not so reserved when I go to the track with the M2, I could just go absolutely batshit crazy and have a blast with it and really put it to the test without having to worry. And it's probably a good idea that I just get a daily driver in general. So I have something else to drive while this car is being worked on or we're doing the pure turbos or anything like that. So that is the reason for me uh, looking into getting a daily driver. Comment down below and tell me what you guys think. You guys know how I build up these cars and how I work on these cars and how I do content. I think it could be a lot of fun to do some content on an E46 M3 and actually do solid, solid content. I will make good videos for you guys. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching the channel. Please do subscribe, comment down below, like this video, hit that bell notification, and I will see you guys in the next video.